the thought of that texture in my mouth drives me nuts. Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm gonna talk to you about how I'm nesting for my service dog prospect. If you are unfamiliar with the term nesting, pregnant women do it a lot. When they're expecting their child to come very soon, they start getting the nursery already and, you know, just building their little nest. And I'm doing that for a puppy. <laughs> in this box in front of me, ow, my wrist just cracked. In this box in front of me, I have a few things that I've collected over the last six months-ish for my service dog prospect when he or she arrives in hopefully January. So I'm just gonna go through the things that I've gathered so far with you and uh, talk about some of the things that I'm going to be gathering hopefully very, very soon <laughs> before the dog gets here. <laughs> First off, I have Zach George's Dog Training Revolution. This book is amazing. I think I'm from this far into it. It's just really great. I love his methods, more positive reinforcement than like choke chains and stuff. There's that, and it's helping me with Marco also. It's always good to learn how to train a dog, no matter how old they are, because apparently it's a myth that you can't teach an old dog new tricks, so that's cool, I guess. Next, I have a clicker. I'm not gonna click it, actually, because Marco will probably think he's gonna get a treat because we've worked with a clicker before. I'm interested in clicker training this new dog. I have some cotton balls <laughs> in an old vitamin container. They're just, uh, cotton balls. If this confuses you, it is to train medical alert. So if I go into a panic attack or a dissociative episode or my blood sugar drops drastically, I will suck on a cotton ball. <sighs> Just like the thought of that texture in my mouth drives me nuts. It apparently works. You suck on a cotton ball, soak it with your saliva, and then you freeze it, and then you can expose the dog to that smell and train it. Um, I'll have more on that once I actually get started with the training when the dog gets here. <laughs> Medical alert training. I also have a training log. It's just a book that I picked up at the dollar store because I want to be able to document um, what we're training on what day. And I read online that if anybody ever tries to come after you legally, this method can hold up in court, apparently, if you log all of your training hours and stuff, if you're a owner training a service dog. So I got this pretty little book. I'm gonna write down everything in it, and I'm gonna write down lists of what I want to train, and uh, maybe make a little chart that says, like, if we've started working on it, if we're currently going through it, and if we've perfected it type of thing. I have a poop bag holder. <laughs> I got it with 400 bags at Walmart, and naturally it's purple because that's my favorite color. And here's some extra poop bags from the dollar store that have purple hearts on them. I like purple. Also, if you hear any coughing, my boyfriend is in the next room. He's sick. I'm dropping things. Next, I have something that I picked up a while ago that I've actually been meaning to take out of here. Uh, dog training for dummies. It is good, I'm sure and I might look through it a little bit. From what I've read of it so far, it's not the same methods as Zach George, and I'm just like a huge fan of his work, so I'll probably use his book more than this one, but there you have it. Next, we have a treat pouch. It uh, has a clip that can go on your belt. It also has a strap that can go around your waist and has this little, whoop, <laughs> This little clip here that I assume you can put like poop bags on or whatever. And then there's that. I don't know what these are for, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I might, um, oh, I might actually attach the clicker to this. And I don't know what these are for, but they're there. And then there's a Velcro pocket in the front. And then this one that kind of is held open by like a spring action. I like that. And then there's another pocket on the inside. I don't know if you can see. I'll probably put like super high value treats in there. Next, I ordered the last three things off of Etsy from a shop called Patience and Love. And I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of that store. Um, this is a leash wrap. I've never opened it before, but there's 
It says patience and love there. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Patience and love. There's a pocket in here. I don't know, but it's a leash wrap. It uh, clips around your leash. And this one says, in training, please don't approach. I really love this. It seems pretty, pretty sturdy. So I'm just gonna put that on the pup's leash when we start doing public access, which won't be for a little while, but it's good to have this in advance. Last, I have two patches that I'm going to put on the pup's vest when I end up ordering it. The first one that I got was anxiety alert dog, PTSD, panic disorder. For obvious reasons, you got PTSD. And then the next one is not all disabilities are visible. Stop, don't be a jerk. <laughs> They're pretty good quality and they were really affordable and a very good price for the quality. And I love the colors. I like uh, vibrant colors. I ended the video and realized that I didn't show you my binder. So I'm just gonna pop this in the middle of the video. I have a binder <laughs> and it is full of information. Let me see. I don't know if you can see how many pages that is, but it's quite a few. In here I have like service dog laws in Alberta and notes that I took from uh, posts that I saw on Tumblr and stuff, which is a very great resource by the way if you look up the tag service dog in training on Tumblr. There's a lot of good advice to be found in there. There's a list of things to look for when temperament testing, which is something that I'm going to be doing very soon. There's this list that I've seen everywhere on the internet of a hundred plus things to socialize your dog to. What else? Oh, I'm hoping to adopt through Positive Match Rescue Foundation. Um, I want to get as young of a puppy as possible to avoid any um, trauma in its past and anything that can't be trained out of it fear-wise. <laughs> so I have their adoption policies and Everything's looking good so far. The only thing that I'm waiting on is the landlord consent form because they don't want to send a puppy off to somebody's house that is not allowed to have a puppy and then have this animal go back into the rescue or even worse, be abandoned on the street. So yeah, once my landlord gets back to me with that, I will be just so good to go for applying for this puppy. But uh, I highly suggest if you are looking into getting a service dog, that you're going to own or train. Print out or write down all of the laws and regulations and rules and anything you can find online because it's really good to have a hard copy in case the internet goes down or I don't know. That's just a thing for me. I need to be able to write it down and hold it in my hands and use a highlighter on it. So that's my binder. <laughs> that's all the stuff that I have so far. Um, we have also a crate that we're going to be using. Things that I'm going to be acquiring over the next little while, hopefully, are a baby gate, um, a training vest, an easy walk harness, which is just a harness that attaches in the front. We have one for Marco and it has been working beautifully over the last couple months since we got it. And I want a short leash and just a regular length leash for public access and stuff. I don't know. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, feeding dishes for the new puppy. Mm, a new bed. There's a bunch of stuff. Um, if you are interested, please in no way, please do not take this as uh, me telling you you have to buy me things. But if you want to send us any of the things on um, the puppy's wish list on Amazon, it is linked as always in the description below. Please don't feel pressured to do this, but if you are a friend or family member or other person who wants to send us a gift for Christmas or anything, I would love anything on that list. <laughs> Um, it says that the list is for the service dog and for my YouTube channel because there's a ring light <laughs> on it and that is strictly for me. It's not for the puppy's use at all. That is all I have for now. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions for products to acquire for this puppy before it comes, please talk to me in the comments. I would love to hear what you have to say. <laughs> any help is always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to be kind to yourself and others today and I will see you very soon. Bye!